more trendy than a comb over. <laughs> so affluent, the local dry cleaner will accept Armani. <laughs> so fashionable and desirable that even the Tazis arrive on time. <laughs> Welcome to St. Helier's. Hello everyone, my name is Harry Lee. On behalf of our owners and the team at iSell Group, it's our absolute pleasure to welcome you as participants of the auction here at this premier address, number 38 Grampian Road. Now for those of you determined to be our new owner, I certainly wish you courage in your upcoming endeavours. Just bid with confidence knowing that I'm simply here to assist and guide you in reaching your real estate ambitions. Now, I'm aware auction documentation has been made available to you over recent weeks. It is there where it states that the property we are auctioning is an estate in fee simple, being lot number two on deposited plan 415199, and together with lot number two on deposited plan 337237, identified on certificate of title 458407, some 1,527 square metres of land, together with all improvements to us more commonly pronounced as 38 Grampian Road. Now the extensive list of shadows, they are as per your contract. They've been well documented throughout the whole time. There have been no variations there. As per standard auction agreements, the contract will be both unconditional and exempt of a cooling off period. Now it should come to no surprise that the property is being offered to you subject to a reserve price. Now subject to that reserve price being met, the highest bidder will be declared the purchaser. If you end up in that winning position, you will be required to sign the contract, place a customary 10% deposit, and acknowledge settlement will take place on the 13th of February 2015, just in time to celebrate the perfect Valentine's Day. Now, any person may bid in person or by proxy representative. However, a bid will only be accepted if you were to display an allocated number. If the situation requires, the auctioneer may refuse a bid. The auctioneer may determine the amount by which it will advance. The auctioneer has the authority to sign the contract on behalf of the purchaser or vendor if necessary. Now, the auctioneer will not accept any bids after the fall of the hammer at which time the property will be at the risk of the purchaser. Now, the auctioneer may make up to two vendor bids. These will always occur at a level below the reserve price and have confidence knowing that I'll clearly indicate such scenario to you by using the words vendor bid. Now, by your bidding actions today, you are telling me that you have read and approved all relevant documentation. It is at this time I will kindly ask for any questions or else I'll simply take your silence as an assumption you do accept and understand. Mr. Auctioneer, I have a question. Yes, sir. I'm a landscape gardener of some repute, actually. Cool. The prolific bamboo on the southern boundary concerns me. I know that it grows at about 18 inches a month, and given the property has a lengthy settlement, near four months, it is even more concerning. If I am the buyer, I know that the property has to be given to me in the condition in which I purchased it. I don't want the property in February if the bamboo is six feet higher than now. How are we going to deal with this prickly matter? Well, sir, I'm glad you've raised your concern there. I guess being the landscape, I'm sure um, you know how to manage the bamboos yourself. Maybe you could give the current owner some advice on how to do it. If they're willing to maybe compromise, maybe. However, I cannot provide any guarantees there. As you said, naturally they grow at that rate. So you will be bidding on that aspect, understanding that you'll be buying taller bamboos. <laughs> no, Excuse me, Harry, you yeah. might remember me, I'm your vendor. Oh, yes. Uh, during a recent Good European, to see you again. <laughs> uh, European joint, I purchased the light above the stairway yep. um, from a light designer, and I've just decided that I want to keep it. So, two weeks back, I purchased a replica at 2% of the value of the light that's there, and if I swap them prior to sale, will there be any ramifications? Yeah, there would be, because you just probably told everyone, sir, so if you did that in a quiet, they may not have noticed. However, <laughs> <laughs> there is a problem, okay? It needs to stay as it is. You need that, that people are buying as is condition. Unfortunately, same thing. So you've got to have to keep the light there and maybe use the replica in your new home as well. The CBD belongs exactly where it should. Over there. You see? St. Helias isn't 15 kilometers from Auckland. Auckland is 15 kilometers from here. 
this exclusive race of where the most affluent and the country's most successful choose to reside. However, there is one warning for today's buyer. You'll find that if you go out shopping for your milk and bread, it will take upwards of 45 minutes. Your local residents and storekeepers not only know your first name, but they will purposely stop you in your tracks just to say hello. <laughs> the home itself is built with strength of stone, the warmth of cedar timber, and it's flanked by mature planting soil. That is right. <laughs> You'll find that there is no need for fencing because of that. Nature will be your guardian. Specifically designed for harmonious living. <clears throat> Not only are the bedrooms separated into three different quarters of the home, the swing pool and spa are purposely positioned where they are to make sure that every single bedroom, not just the master, will have a water view. <laughs> With 46 squares of internal living spread on almost two-fifths of an acre in land, there has been no compromise in size here. These attributes are hard to find in isolation, let alone as a combination. This is exclusivity amongst the exclusive. With homes in our area selling well in excess of seven figures, I will now turn it over to you for your opening bid here today, 38 Grampian Road, where shall we begin? As I mentioned earlier, some 1,527 square metres of land. I think maybe that alone will command a start, say what? Around the $3 million mark, could I see a figure around there? $4,025,000. Five. Well bid, sir, and good luck to you at $4,025,000. From here, what do you say? Round up to maybe 4.25, folks, at $4,025,000. With you, sir, at 4025 now, I would suggest four and a quarter four would only be instinctive. At 4.1, welcome in, sir. No concerns with the bamboo there, I see. At $4,100,000 now, can I see 4.2? At $4,100,000, I'd love to think at least 4.2 at this level. Surely not now. Should not even hesitate. At 4.2, welcome back in, sir. It is back against you now, can I say 4.3? At $4,200,000 now, sir, call it 4 million three. What do you say? Don't let inhibitions hold you back. 100. Take control. At 4.3 it is. At $4,300,000, sir, where's your rebuttal now? Can I see 4.4? At $4,300,000, at 4.4 it is now, sir. Let's act swiftly. Call it 4.5, but at $4.4 million. Leading the way and thriving now. Just the two of you in it. Certainly things are heating up. At 4.4, was that 50, sir? Okay, acknowledged away and well executed. Welcome in and good luck to you as well. At 4.45. At 4,450,000, sir, it's snatched away from you. But well within your grasp now at four million four fifty. Could I say four and a half? Yeah. Yeah, four and a half it is. At four and a half it is now, sir. Back against you. What do yep. you say to another straight in the middle at four five fifty? At four million five fifty it is, sir. Call it four six. But at five fifty the lead, four point five five million dollars. You know the bidding amongst your peers should only confirm its desirability. Four million five hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. Surely that will give you confidence. Take it to four six. But at four million five fifty once at four point five five twice now at five fifty to lead third and final call. Well, to steer you towards the right direction, I'll place a vendor bid at that level. Four million six hundred thousand dollars, and I'm happy to travel in fifties if you like. Call it four point six five. Sir, it is against you now. Vendor bid at four million six hundred thousand dollars. Sir, against you also. Haven't heard from you, landscaper. Could I say 4.65? At $4,600,000 now, searching for an extra 50. What do you say, folks? Once at $4.6 million. Surely you won't let it go now twice at 4.6 third and final call. 650. $4,650,000 now, searching for an extra 50. At 4.7 it is. At 4.7, sir, would you call it four and three quarters? At 4.7 the lead now, at four and three quarters, at 4.75. Round it up to a nice knee, 4.8, sir, but at $4,750,000. Views of the water from the master bedroom balcony. Yes. What price would you pay? 4.75. 
at four million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. Could I say four eight? Just four point eight, sir. Yeah, four eight, sir. At four eight, it is now calling for four eight fifty. At four million eight hundred thousand dollars now, searching for an extra fifty. A quarter. At four eight twenty five. At four eight twenty five now. Four eight fifty. It is now at forty eight fifty, sir. Would you go another quarter? You started the trend now. Come on, follow suit. Twenty seventy. Four eight seventy. It is now at four million eight seventy. Twenty five. At four million eight seventy and ninety five. It is, sir. I saw you raise your paddle, sir. At four eight ninety five. What do you say? What's the rebuttal? At forty eight ninety five. Four nine one five. At four nine one five. It is. He raised his paddle after you, sir. So I didn't know which one to calculate first. At forty nine fifteen. The lead now at four million nine hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Sorry, man. Why not, sir? A man. Whose bed was that? Five. Harry, At whose bed was that? Just then, I think the bed towards the far left. Yeah, that's my, uh, I recognise the voice, that's my ex-wife and I don't want you selling to her. Oh, well, that's a cup of auction, I can do what I want. You don't take a bid from her. She does I have a point insist. though. Don't take a bid from her. I okay. insist. Strict instructions at four million nine hundred twenty-five was your bid, ma'am. Anyone else would like to go further and resolve this problem? At four million nine hundred twenty-five thousand dollars now. What do you say, folks? At forty-nine twenty-five first time. At four nine two five the lead now. Second call at four million nine twenty-five for the third. Sorry, sir. Four nine fifty. Four nine fifty it is. Can I just grab your paddle there, sir? Just see a registration. Welcome in and good luck. At four nine fifty it is. At four nine fifty at sixty now. At four million nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars. At forty nine sixty the leap. How about a round up to five million, sir? At four million nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars. The winning bid here today, five million, sir. I was suggesting five million. At four nine seventy it is then. At four million nine seventy, could I say eighty, sir? At nine seventy the lead now. At eighty it is. At four nine eighty. At four point nine eight, searching for an extra ten. Call it to that level. What do you say, folks? At four million nine eighty once. At nine ninety, at nine ninety now, sir. What do you say? Call it five mil. It's got a nice ring to it. At four nine ninety, at five mil it is. At five million dollars flat, even five mil now. Searching for an extra ten. At five million dollars, at five million and ten, sir. Welcome back in at five million and ten, sir. What do you say? Call it twenty. At five million and ten thousand dollars, at twenty now. At five million and twenty thousand dollars. What do you say to thirty, sir? At twenty it is. At thirty now. At five million and thirty thousand dollars now. Call, call it forty, sir. On your behalf, at five million thirty. Yes. At five million and forty. At fifty and forty, the lead now. Can I see fifty and fifty, sir? At fifty, it is now. We'll just call it sixty. At five million and fifty thousand dollars, ma'am. I was told not to take your bid. At five million fifty thousand dollars, you're right. Valid point. At sixty, it is now. At five million and sixty thousand dollars. At fifty and sixty, sir. Fifteen. There we go. Seventy-five. Probably save me from some trouble later. At fifty and seventy-five. <laughs> at five million and seventy-five thousand dollars now. At eighty-two five, it is. At eighty-two five now. Two and a half. At eighty-five. At eighty-five. At eighty-five, the lead now, sir. A change up in strategy. Could I see a round up to 5.1? At five million and eighty-five thousand dollars, I will suggest five million and ninety-five. At ninety-five it is now. I will suggest a nice neat 5.1 first time. At five million and ninety-five thousand dollars twice. At fifty and ninety-five. At five million one oh two five. At one oh two five the lead now. I'd love to see another seven and a half, folks. At five million one oh two five. At one oh seven five. At one oh seven five the lead now. I'd love to think five fifteen from here. At five oh seven and a half now, sir. What do you say? Call it one fifteen. At one million five million one oh seven five. First call, second call. Are you prepared to let it slip? Third and final call. Brilliant news, we sell away no better bids, sir. At five million and a half. Fifteen it is. Five million one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. On the market and it goes here today. If there is no better bid, sir, the property will be yours. At five million I'll one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Sorry, sir. I will double my last bid. Yep, that make it uh five million one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Would you say that was two and a half was the last bid, sir? $10,000. 10000 all together, all up, at $5,125,000. Some would say five and one eighths of a million, but at five million one twenty five, could I say what, five million one thirty, sir? At one twenty five to lead, at five and one eighths now, first time, at five million one twenty five now, second call, at five and one eighths of a million for the third and final time, last chance, sir, quickly now, anyone else holding back, now's your time, at five million one two five, first, second, third and final call, it's going. Going dirty. Fashionably late, sir. Mm -hmm.
35 million, 130,000 balls. At 35, it is now loving your timing at 135, 40. At 5 million, 140,000 dollars, would you make it 45, sir? 45, it is. At 50 now, 50, would you call it 55? At 55, it is. At 51 and 55 now, at 60, at 60 now, would you call it 65, sir? At 65, it is. At 65, sir, at 70 now. At 70, stick with the 5, sir. At 70, it is. At 5 million, 170. One more on that, sir. 5 million, 171. Don't reveal your tactics, sir. You never know. 5 million, 171. Sir, you heard it. What do you say? A little bit extra. Just a gentle bit in front at five million one hundred and seventy-one thousand dollars. We do sell away no better bid, ma'am. Any further advance from you, sir? Quickly now at five million one seventy-one, sir. Quickly at fifty-one seventy-one for the first, second, third, and final call. It's going, going out. Sold at five. So well done and good luck with the bamboo. I'm sure you'll take good care of it. To everyone else, thank you for your participation for another successful auction from the ICL group. Thank you so much.